on this bonus episode of Black Smoke Barbecue, we're at Victorian's Barbecue in Mark, Texas. Made the trip down with my man, the dog father, Alton Matthews, and Ali Khan from Ali Khan Eats. It was just about an hour and a half drive from Austin, but we came down to see our friend, Joey Victorian, better known as Joey V. This is his joint, and you don't know Joey Victorian. He's a celebrity chef and pit master. He was featured on season two of Barbecue Showdown on Netflix. The guy's an amazing chef, amazing pit master. He's known as the tri-tip king of Texas, as you can see here. He's slicing up tri-tip for the customers. And when we came in, he was working the boards, getting things going for his customers. And I gotta tell you, everything looked absolutely amazing. That brisket is on point. We got to see him slice up all types of stuff, man. You know, he had ribs, he had turkey, he had all kind of stuff going on, y'all. But we let Joey know that we were coming down. He was, you know, more than welcoming. He invited us to come on and we decided to come in, chop it up, and have a conversation about barbecue, food, and everything else we could think of, y'all. And do you see what he is doing to this chicken? Good Lord. That thing is so juicy. That sauce is just amazing. And I gotta tell you, man, Joey and his wife Kelly and their staff were so amazing. They welcomed us with open arms. They laid out all the hospitality in the world for us, y'all. And this spread that they set out is just absolutely insane. And I'm gonna tell you right now, before we even get into all this, everything was absolutely delicious. All of it was made here. Everything was fresh. Everything was delicious. I can't say that enough. Joey was also kind enough to whip up some bonus items that you don't see at your typical barbecue joint. We're going to get into those and a whole bunch more, y'all. Let's dig into this beautiful, beautiful spread. All right, y'all. We're at Victorian's Barbecue here in Mar, Texas. We finally made it down. We got Ali Khan and the man himself, Joey V. Yes, sir. He put out this amazing spread for us, y'all. Joey, I'm just chopped liver, huh? Everybody, everybody know the dog father. Like, come on, man. I, I don't have you to can't explain. leave him out, man. I, mean, Ouch. You know. I can't explain. Ouch. On, <laughs> Tell us what we're working with, Joey. All right, man. So we got the banana pudding, right? We've got the mac and cheese, but it's a Gouda mac and cheese, and we put taki on top of it. Mm. We got the charro beans that you would normally get, like, at a Mexican food restaurant. We got the Creole corn, mm. a.k.a. mock shoe in Louisiana. Mm. We got the pasta salad, potato salad, cucumber salad. We got the Texas brisket. We've got the Gouda sausage. We got burn ins, ribs, um, and then uh, tri tip, of course. Got to have the tri tip with the chimichurri. Mm -hmm. And then we got turkey going on right here, smoked half chicken. We've got smoked pork shanks right here. And I added the, the gumbo for you guys since I knew y'all were coming in. Oh, man. I just gotta say, this apparently is meant to be some sort of like coffee cup. That would be a pretty. Is that a tuck truck driver's coffee cup? I mean, that is a large, large. That gets your juice for the whole day. Yeah, I know, seriously. I got that at the dollar store. <laughs> and you know, speaking of, I mean, this is all our first times here. Yeah. This Not mine. Place, been you've been here before. I have, yeah. Well, he didn't give us the four one one, but this place is like God. Wonderful little details, yes. like and th yes. that has this combination of like you could tell, like okay, you found these things all over the place, but there's there is design here. Absolutely. There's great design yeah. here, great sense of style. Here. There's soul here, dude. Absolutely, mm -hmm. you got soul Built. in this place. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Built everything ourselves with the help of some friends and family. Um, so yeah, man, built the tables with the help. Well, I have a friend that was a welder. He built the bottom base of the table in that deal that's going on right there mm -hmm. but um like all the other tables i built myself put the, the tops on these um, i had a friend help me put that wall divider there and that's about it man and then my brother and me and, and a couple of his friends put up the tvs the lights and then uh, i built some other stuff and my wife and i just you know we did it, man. Y'all did a yeah. great job, you man. You killed it. Yeah. You killed it. An amazing job. Thank I you, mean, thank more you. people have got to know about this place. Too. I hope so, man. The thing is, is that a lot of people don't, they, they go to Waco and they don't think about us. Mm. But we're only 15 minutes from Baylor. Right. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're, we're Waco. So right. y'all hear that? 15 minutes from yeah. Baylor and Waco. You got to come out here. That's it. You got to come out here. You know, I think what's 
amazing and this is happening to me look as someone who's like i live in austin a lot of the barbecue i've experienced are like the food trailers that are now kind of slowly becoming the brick and mortars right but driving up here and walking in here is an experience i yes. think a lot of people coming yeah. from out of state actually covet like you should be fired up when you walk through yeah, the front door. Yeah. <laughs> the brick on this building, like how old is this building? 123 years old. Wow. Built ding, in ding, ding. Dude, that's what I'm saying. You know, this and is the all same, original brick. Yeah. Same thing happened when I went to Burt Bean. You know what I mean? The experience is that's, the atmosphere yeah. that's like so unique. Yeah. But like it just just, this this is authentic. Man. This is an authentic dude. This, I mean, you know. Great, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you got Star yeah. Wars there. You got There's my DJ equipment over there yeah. and, you know, some other things. Yeah, this is me, man. This is, this is, this is who I am, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, um, you know, speaking of the experience, it's kind of like when you walk in uh, Louis Mueller's. You know what's crazy? Uh-oh, I'm going to get tossed out of here. I haven't been yet. I'm. It's, what? It's on the, you know what's <laughs> funny is I haven't really done. I've lived in Austin, you know, Texas for nine years, but I haven't like gone to so many spots because I mean, look, I live in the seven eight seven zero two. I mean, there's a lot. It's also why I've never made a brisket before. I'm like, why? I just, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the guys, <laughs> it's even waiting in Franklin will be less time than it takes for me to yeah. make one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dude. So no, I've not been to Louis. No, but I mean, I, well, I've been here six years. Mm -hmm. Working in Austin six years. And there's tons of places I haven't been to. Plus, you know, the pandemic put up big, true, big yeah. roadblock and a lot of that stuff. So I'm really just getting started to uh, dive into all of the places that I want to go and that I need to go to. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's well, I'll it tell takes you time, this, Joey, because I'm, I'm sure book. you know about this. You've been to Louis Miller's. Yeah. So there's there's three places that I got that tingling feeling when I walked in the door. Oh damn. Okay. Yes. Louis Miller's. Uh huh. Was one. The second was City Market in Lulu. Mm. Okay, yeah. You know when you go yeah. in that pit, that yeah. pit room. Mm -hmm. The third today walking Boom. in there, dude. Nice man. It was I walked in here. It was just like, oh my god. I need to get more smoke on the wall. <laughs> no, 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 no. But here's the thing. Out of those three places, only one has Darth Vader at the front. Door. That is true. That's true. That is now, true. Now when, when we pulled up, yeah. basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When we pulled up, um, you know, because I've been here, but. They were like, whoa, they was like, is this it? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, dude, this is it. Yeah. And they was like, this is bad. Yeah. <laughs> and this was just from the outside, so yeah. Yeah. You hear y'all, this is definitely an experience. Yeah, whether you're coming from Austin or Dallas, it's like. An hour like, and a half from. And that's the thing, part of barbecue is, road trip barbecue is its own category. Yeah, it's yeah. destination, you know? destination barbecue. Yes, well, yes. Absolutely. Barbecue is community and a destination. Yeah. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, and uh, you know, I figure people drive a good distance to come and see me. If you're not in Waco, um, Houston two hours, Dallas hour and a half, Austin hour and a half. You know, if you're driving, it better be good. Yeah. So I made sure that it was good, and you you notice that I've got the the prime brisket in in the refrigerator right there. So I'm you know I'm not hiding what meat I have or anything else like that, and. and uh, we got you the full spread today. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah, we even cooked a tri-tip for you today. Tri-tip is usually man. on Saturday, but we got you hooked up today. I got to ask, though, where's the egg at, man? You gotta leave. You gotta leave. You gotta leave. You gotta get us put out of here. Here you, you go with that leave. stuff, man. All I'm saying <laughs> is breakfast is a time. It ain't really a meal. You yeah. know, breakfast, you, man. you know, you could have this for breakfast if you want. But hey, absolutely. Hey, no, why are you getting me started? <laughs> there it is. There it is. I haven't even had our first bite yet, and we've been derailed That's possibly it. twice. <laughs> no, so, I thought it was ridiculous anyway, to be honest with you, but hey. It's it, all good. Hey, it is what it is. Right. I got the exposure. I got the yes, now, sir. Right? You know, yes, everybody, sir. I think, knows who I am. Uh, Worldwide, that, that's the great part. Right? Worldwide. Yeah. Man. I've, I've, I've got people from Brazil, from from Africa, from, I mean, Probably of course, Australia, because yeah. I went to Australia, too. Um, everywhere, man. Everywhere. Uh, I've been invited to uh, the UK at some places, doing all kind of things. And, uh, so, yeah, but it's hard for me to leave this place right now since we're so kind of new. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'll, I'll, once we get things ramped up and we get more people in here, 
I'll be able to hire more people. That way, I can step away and go to do more festivals and things like that. Oh yeah, do that world so, tour. Yeah. So that's the goal. Nice. It's gonna get well known good. like uh, Pharrell, man. The hat. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know. Right now, you think of the hat, you think of Pharrell. Did you get that deal yeah, with Stetson yeah, yeah. yet, man? No, not yet. I'm still waiting. Stetson called me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll man, tag you I, I tell you what, it, you know how many DMs I, I get? It's still on a regular Blake basis, and it's usually somebody's wife. Hey, my husband is in love with your hat that he's seen on TV. <laughs> yeah. Could you tell me what it is? It's like it's a classic. It's a Stetson Open Road classic. Yeah, you pull it off. Been around yeah. since like pull 18. It off. 80 something or something. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, well, y'all. Well, so here's the real it. question. I feel like you might have some ideas on where we should start. First fight. Start with the tri tip first. Let's do it. Great minds, Let's great minds. I was, I was thinking that. I was thinking that. That's what I'm known for. Let me grab y'all some spoons. Right. I'm going right in. Yeah, dude. See you later. Yeah, Ooh. Another fork over there for me? Right here, my man. Thank you, sir. Woo. I don't know how you guys want to. Oh, the chimney will just spoon on. Yeah. Yeah. So should I try it without the chimney? Sure. Try without the chimney, okay. and then uh, you know, then you try our chimney. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh yeah. You know, it, it is tri-tip. I mean, this is a steak. You pull apart steak that's still a lovely rosy pink in the middle. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. That's good, isn't it? What's the yeah. smoke that's on there? Red oak. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's all I do is cook with red oak. That's good. With red oak. Mm, that is freaking fantastic. Thank you. You know, like barbecue craving, steak craving. And all of your beef is 1855, right? It's either 1855. All of this today is 1855. Either that or uh, 44 Farm. Damn. You can't go wrong. You're, You're not playing farm. games. No, no. Top like I said, tier man, it's a destination. You, I don't want anyone leaving disappointed. Yeah send it around I'm I'll say this I'm just trying it to try it you don't need to put a damn thing on this right now no not at all Again, like I'm same. almost yeah but, but chimichurri is delicious though no, well, <laughs> no. I love chimichurri yeah I love it love it love it love it one of these days I want to make a chimichurri chicken mm. oh yeah happy. that's good yeah. I've done one of oh, those yeah, yeah. Mm. and you know so here's the deal I'll tell you my tri-tip story um, about eight eight years ago, we were cooking on. Um, I just gotten a new trade in my backyard, and my mm -hmm. buddy was like, "We go in the store, get some stuff, and then we'll smoke it." So he comes back with a tri tip, and he, he it said sirloin on it, and I was like, "What the hell is that?" He's like, "I don't know." <laughs> I was like, "Uh, all right." So we trimmed it a little bit. I was like, "Well, we'll just smoke it." So I smoked it like a brisket. So of course, I overcooked it. Mm. Because I didn't know that it was a steak. Right, right, right. And I was like, man, you know what would taste good on this? You know how we go to Brazilian steakhouses and they always have chimichurri? Yeah. So let's put chimichurri on it. Now I knew nothing of chimichurri and tri tip in California. Nothing. Zero. I didn't. Mm. So, and then we started doing that. We started doing festivals. And that's all I would cook at festivals. And then uh, one time, John Brotherton comes up to me. And he goes, were well, you cooking, Joey? And I'm like, uh, what do you think I'm cooking? I know you're cooking tri-tip. He goes, that's all you do. I, he's like, you're like the tri-tip king of Texas. And I'm like, well, since I'm the king, and put me in this little red wagon and pull me. So oh, is that where that red wagon is? That's the video sitting in the red wagon waving and John Brotherton pulling me. That's amazing. So, that's yeah, I miss that guy, man. Yeah, miss him tremendously. Man. John Brotherton was the man. All right, next. Yeah, what is next? Try the fatty brisket. Well, nice. if you insist. Yeah. yeah, twist our arms, why don't you? All right. That was right. house-made chimney, right? Yes, everything is house-made. The only thing that's not oh is God. the uh, sausage, because we can't make it. You know, I'm going to say this. For a second, I was like kind of selfish. I was like, oh, do I want to, even in this scenario, I'm like, do I want the third slice or whatever? And then literally, I picked this up. Good Lord. I, I know this is going to fall apart on me. So I'm gonna do this quick. <laughs> Outstanding. Outstanding. Look at that. Outstanding. Oh, it's dripping Did everywhere. You see that thing so dripping? Leaking. Yeah. Here, yeah, I'm, a, I'm gonna be a generous guy here. Here Please we go. Do. There he is. Drip. My man. I'll yes. hook us up. 
<laughs> I'm telling you, I have to do this carefully because it will fall apart. Look, dude, come on. Did I do it right? Yes. I, I would oh, yeah. so. That's my yeah. first brisket, so. It, it, <laughs> so, yeah, there's always no sauce the first. Smoke and the bark. The bark. Is the, I got to get up close. That's a beautiful looking piece of brisket. Thank you. Thank you. Now, what I do is uh, when it's wrapped in paper, when we pull them off, I let them rest for about an hour, and then I'll wrap them in the uh, cellophane, mm. and the cellophane softens the bark mm. on it. It's interesting, like, that bark is nice and soft. I don't know if the pepper can be quite sharp when you think about, you know, the, how coarse ground it is, but there's also something like kind of rich, like almost like kind of a coffee note. There's like these deep roasted notes yes. that are coming from it. Almost like like fond. Like okay. a stew, you know? Like there's just a, yeah. something very intensely beefy yeah. happening in here. And we we um, we don't kill it with seasoning. There's there's a lot of seasoning on it, but mm -hmm. we don't no. it doesn't It shines through man. And since um I have high blood pressure. Mostly all of my seasoning, well, all of my seasoning is low sodium. Mm. So, I can tell that first bite. Yeah. yeah. So if you need seasoning, I'm at salt. You put it on there. You just can't right. take salt away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's yeah. where we are with that. That fat is rendered. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank you. It just has that pure beefiness. Like, you know what's funny? It's interesting that we had the tri-tip and then the brisket, right? Yeah. You think about, I'm craving this beef. And you think about a juicy steak, but then the other side of that coin of beef craving is like a stew. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Those brown bits at the bottom. Yeah. You yeah. know, it just tastes like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But as like a pure slice of meat. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. Damn. I get it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. damn, there it is. All right, well, let's move to the pork ribs. Okay, fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. You know what? We're family now. Yeah, Here, yeah, we Here we go. Here we go. Thank you, sir. You know, I actually. And that rib. Oh, that's yeah. A that's, uh, what's his name? Is uh, this the pro move? Uh, Russell Regal. Mm -hmm. Will always. Every time I cook ribs or something, he passed by and he grabbed the end piece. <laughs> with all the bite. He got, I like to chew on it and then. Oh, with all that gristle yeah. on that in between the two pieces. Oh, yeah, I do that. Yeah, that uh -uh. yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. <laughs> that's very true. And, uh, and again, everything I have, mm. like the rib, they're highly seasoned. Nice I'm going to say this, Joe. Highly seasoned, but not over seasoned. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's just right. Thank you. I just oh, I feel the heat. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's Creole, man. I feel that heat. Yeah, yeah. A little bit I like that. that. Does this remind me also of the tri tip too? Like, I just really love the flavor of the smoke. Oh, you know, good. like it's really coming through. Yeah, tasting that wood, and it's clean. And you're a bark guy, obviously. I don't know. I've been known to enjoy. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you get it with that. I know. You get it with that smoke, good. man. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. You know it's good when you get quiet. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's jaws working. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's really good. All right. I'm like the. I'm, it's like that roller coaster, dude. It's like a roller coaster of flavors in that rib. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like trying to pick them out. Well, you got the black pepper. Yeah. You've got the um, the Creole seasoning. You also got paprika in there and mustard seasoning. So what is the sweetness I'm getting from that? Sugar. Okay. That's yeah. Sugar. That's sugar in my barbecue seasoning. Yeah. And then you dressed it with that sauce, and that's not overdone at all. No. It's mm -hmm. just that perfect, what we do is perfect kiss. We mm -hmm. drizzle the foil, put it face down, and then stick it in the warm. Mm -hmm. We don't cook it with the sauce on there. Mm. Yeah. So it's it's not overpowering. And if you notice, our sauce is, is not thick at all. I don't like a thick sauce. Mm -hmm. You know? That way, if you get something, you can, like a rib, and you have a, a, a little dish, you can dip it in there. You don't have to yeah, smother it on there if you don't want it all on your ribs. Or, you know what I mean? It accompanies. It's not goop. Yeah. 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 Man, I like to, to taste the pop. meat, man. Yes. You know? And that's yes. what it is. A lot of places, they, like if I use barbecue sauce at my house when I do barbecue, my friends always ask me, what'd you do wrong? Because you hide something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I don't do the sauce. I like to have that. I want to taste yeah. the meat. Yeah, sometimes sauce is just like 
plain too strong? Like, does it really match up mm -hmm. to what's on the meat? You know, um, you know what I love about this too is I am not a fall off the bone guy. Mm -hmm. I don't like no, three, not two, one. No. This is tender as heck. Mm -hmm. I pulled the rib apart, but. It's got some pull. I, I that's yeah. kind of a yep, must yeah. for me. That's, you know, that's, that's you know, look at his done. bone right there. It, you got the pull. You can pull from yeah. there and, and yours too. Yep. So I'm not cool. trying to brag, but uh, I am one generation away from the old country. So <laughs> you know, this this could be a caveman artifact. <laughs> yeah, dude. All right, so now we got the Creole turkey, dude. You try a piece of the smoked Creole turkey. It's kind of a gift. Here, my dude. Sending it your way. Thank you, sir. I have not had any barbecue sauce yet. I know I want to try this, but I know what happens is I start eating it and then it just goes away. So, do you think barbecue <laughs> sauce on this? Or just put a little it? bit on it. Okay. You can put a little All right. splash. A little that's, splashy. that's the one thing that uh, you could probably taste the barbecue sauce on better. Okay. If that makes sense. I mean, what I'll do is just on this side. You know, it should be, I think like when you're having really good barbecue, it should be like when you're at sushi and there's soy sauce and wasabi, it's there, but apply it conservatively. Yeah. Yep. Just as, just a little dab, yep. a little dab, dab, dab. Yep, yep. Well, it's, it's good be, turkey, man. Here it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Makes great sandwiches, too. Mm. What's the seasoning on this? That is the barbecue seasoning and the oh, Creole sir, seasoning, yes, but mainly the Creole seasoning. And I added, um, I added our, our garlic uh, black pepper seasoning to it too. There's a great tang that's on here. Yeah. Oh, I just have the sauce. Man, you know, tang in the seasoning, tri-tip turkey, tang in the smoke. Yeah. Yep. You know? Is this a, this is a pre-brined? Okay. No. Well, well, the company, Comes, brought, yeah, right. yeah, okay. the company, yeah. So we get a, I think there's four boobs in a. Oh well, yeah, in, in a case. A, in a case. <laughs> yeah. Industry talk. No, yeah, 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 yeah. You that's can exactly edit that how I get it. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't do I that. Drill that. And speaking of, that's John Brethren who put me onto the company. I get the turkey from. Yeah. That's pretty good. All right, turkey's done. Hit up the chicken. It's gonna be a fight for who's gonna get the dark meat. But then again, the test is to see how the breast. No, I'll go with the breast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna yeah. fight y'all. I do love that um, it's a half chicken. Yeah. Because that way you have a better shot of making sure everything is stays juicy mm -hmm. on the front end. That and you know what we do is we we only poke it like twice. We poke it once to check the temp. If it needs to be poked again. To make sure it gets up to 165, we poke it the second time. We try not to poke it too much so the juice will stay in. Nice. He's talking about cooking chicken. Pull off that quarter. So yeah, I know you like this. Your, uh, Just spoon. 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 That's fine. I cook everything at 275. Okay. Y'all got to get in there with your hands. Like, Y'all over here trying to be all bougie. No, no, no. no. Part of it is, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you had the family barbecue. Yeah, I know. Y'all know how that goes. Mm -hmm. I know. I got a knife. I know. No, 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 no. It was for the bit. I commit to the bit. <laughs> Chicken's eye coming at you. Look at that. that thing is dripping. Oh, oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Ooh. That's it, man. And, and that um, has the, mm. the barbecue, and then I also have a garlic black pepper. So you got 75% mm. garlic, I mean 75% barbecue, 25% the garlic black pepper. I love that there's, you have turkey and, sometimes it's like, it's kind of mostly turkey, which is great, because I think turkey is a wonderful way to showcase Central Texas barbecue, because if you can do a turkey breast well, you can do a brisket well. People love know? turkey breast. People, I, I, got, I get people that'll come in here and they'll be like, let me have the whole breast. Yeah, right? You know, they yeah. easily. My yeah. next door neighbor, he'll come in here and he'll just get the whole breast. Dude, if you're my next door neighbor, I'd be asking for all kinds <laughs> of whole things. You know? He has a 1985 Toyota. Really? <laughs> from Back to the Future. He has six cars. Wow. He, he rotates them back there. 
There was a Toyota in Back to the Future? Yeah, yeah the, the truck, the truck, the truck Marty oh, had. The, the one he got once everything went right. He had that badass yeah. pickup. Oh, right. I just think about the DeLorean. But yeah, yeah, I guess I should <laughs> think about the whole, the movie as a whole. Now, comment on your chicken. Okay. You say you cook everything at 275. Well, no, no, that, I'm sorry, the chicken got a grill. Oh, it got, it's okay. It's fire chicken. Well, I'm going to tell you what. Oh, the bite through on that skin. Mm-hmm. Phenomenal. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. My boy Arthur. I taught him well. Um, you know, mm. like Ali was saying, I wish more places did chicken. You know, more barbecue joints. But I understand why they don't because it's hard to get it right, yeah. especially well, at scale. Well, you the know, and the skin is, is the hardest part. The key mm. is getting big chickens. Right. You, mm. you can't get those little bitty chickens because they, they dry up. Yeah. Yeah. And they'll dry up sitting in the warmer. Mm -hmm. And then when you put them in the warmer, I notice you don't want to, because this is all was all trial and error. Um, there's some stuff I cover in the warmer, yep. and there's Chicken some stuff can. I don't. Yeah. Because if I do, then my skin will go to crap. Yeah. And, and, and believe it or not, even where I place it in the warmer, if I put it down, it starts to cool off and shrink. And so you start I have to rubberizing on you. So I have to keep it up top. So. It's just all little things like that that, you know, Arthur and I, we go through and, yeah. we, you know, we, we try. That's really good. You see, I'm still, it as much as I I'm still pulling at it. So. Yeah. You know what, I, I, what I'll say about it is it has an old school barbecue flavor. Yes, That's it does. That's fire. You know what yeah, I mean? Like it's barbecue. Yeah. yeah. This is just barbecue. This is just yeah. craft. Yeah, yeah. You know, fancy, thought out. This is, this is just old like, school pit barbecue. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah exactly. family, you know, exactly. you go to somebody's house. They got their little Weber, and, yeah. and they, yep. that's what yep. that is right there. It's now, we do smoke school. chickens every now and then, but um, yeah. Arthur and I like to play. Mainly, Arthur likes to play with fire, so um, Arthur will uh, yeah. grill the chicken, and Arthur actually cooked the, um, Dude. Arthur cooked the tri-tip today. Got grease on you know, it's funny. You could come here and literally go for the tri-tip and the chicken and just kind of have a, a, a different experience, you know, than just the classic, like, Oh, it's barbecue. Get ready for that heavy, 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 yeah. you know? Um, and, like, you know, it's funny. It's like, I look, this is all going out well. And, you know, like, we all know this when you eat a lot of barbecue. Sometimes you're like, the hiccups come. I got no hiccup. No dirty no. smoke. No. Clean smoke. But no. if you were like, I always look at it like this. Like, I'm not going to be doing anything majorly physical today. No. But, <laughs> I'll be recovering from barbecue. However, yeah. however. I could come here, get down on some chicken, a little tri-tip, and I could go and, like, work out in the afternoon. You know what yeah. I mean? And just have a, you know, just kind of well, a... And the good thing is, years. you can drive back to Austin, let everything settle. Oh, yeah. And by the time you get home, you are ready to go. Rain, man. You're ready now, to go. I want to let y'all... So, if you notice on the the, the brisket, which y'all have demolished already, <laughs> yeah. um, it has a very thin um, smoke ring. I... If you got a big smoke ring, you oversmoked it. Oh yeah, and I, I don't That's care. That's what, what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, you, you right? oversmoked it. it. It's a vanity thing. It is. People it is. Have, have come to make this smoke ring to be the end all be all, and that's just not it. You know? Yeah. You know, because it's almost akin to like a two week brine with a pastrami. Mm -hmm. There's been so much penetration. Yeah. And so much smoke has gotten in there. It, it's the same effect. Russell will do it overnight. Brian Pastrami. Overnight? That's it? it? Wow. He won't tell me how he does I see. He's like, I'll tell you what, Joey. You probably Google it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was the first one I saw that really started doing the pastrami. Yeah, and Russell does a lot of it. It's yeah, crazy. Over in Houston. So, all right, fellas, we got that. Y'all can take a piece of the sausage. It's, it's sausage. You know, we don't make it, but it's a... Uh, it's, uh, um, Gouda sausage, also. You do love Gouda too. I love. This man's like, you know, Gouda Gouda. Man, I'm not gonna make the Gouda joke. All right. I'll so are you, you gonna? Pretty Gouda. Gouda. <laughs> pretty Gouda if you want to try it. Are you, you gonna uh, start making this at any point? Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're yeah, you can take that. Take one of those. Oh, okay. I'll take gotcha. that in. Look at them peppers here, here. in there. Mm. I got to see this. Mm -hmm. Go. Yeah, we, we get so a lot of that. this is the high-temp cheese in here. Yeah, mm. what it is, that's the uh, sausage that everybody loves here. Not just me. A lot of people come. The guy that was right before y'all, mm -hmm. he got like mm -hmm. 10, 
10 links. Yeah. Uh, so, so who sausages? Uh, Slavic. Oh, okay. You know, oh, Slovakic. Slovakic. Yeah. Yes. I can never say the name. Man. It's the lot. first thing that I yeah. taste on it is sugar. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's got that sweetness. Yeah. Well, it's funny. I feel like uh, with, with sausages, I mean, it's become a whole new thing, kind of like crab barbecue, right? But yeah. the kind of the, oh, yeah. the link people go bonkers for is like a jalapeno cheddar. Yeah. And it's nice to just have like a cheese in there that has like, I don't know, you know, one thing about cheese is like there's like those complex flavors that come from the cheese becoming itself. Yeah. And cheddar's a little bit less intense. Yeah. Compared to that Gouda. Yeah. The now cheese much, in this is now, really rich though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Now this oh, yeah. is this is American cheese and it's twenty five percent gouda because you don't want to put too much gouda yeah, in it. Yeah, 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 slap yeah, yeah. you in the face. And, yeah. Alright, so let's try I put that there, but go ahead, let try the Woo. pork shank and the gumbo. Yeah, I'm gonna have to freshen up these hey, these, these paws are dirty. <laughs> I, I I crushed through that wing too. I had the drumstick. I had to go for the wing. Oh yeah. Take no prisoners. Good, good stuff, man. <laughs> oh man, there. Yeah, it's good. A little stash. We'll just. Yeah. Uh, really good stuff. Ooh. Break it down, there, Mr. BK. Look at that. Yeah, man. Thank you, sir. Oh, I'll use it. You want BK? I'll do one. Whew. So most of the time, whenever I've had these, Thank you, bro. we've always broken it down and made them into tacos. Yeah, totally. So sometimes what I'll do is this will go in the bowl, but the bowl will have red beans and rice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. And it's just sitting out. Man, come on. Yeah. Now you're talking dirty, Joe. Now you're talking dirty. I'm going to try my best to not make it look like I took all of it. Now, should we have it with the gumbo, or how's that work? No, no. It's its you own can thing. Just eat it separately. It's its own uh, thing. No problem. Did you guys enjoy it? Yes, sir. All right. Take care. Pork shank, right? So what's the process for this? Um, There's not much of a process. Just some seasoning, man, and I smoke it. And then um, smoke I'll, smoke it. Mm -hmm. I'll smoke it to 185, and then it'll get wrapped in foil to tenderize it more yeah and then it'll go to 205 i love that you didn't overdo it smoke salt and pepper and the natural sweetness of that pork yeah absolutely it's really mm -hmm. really and really coming that's through. that's our barbecue rub that's on there this is a great cut to showcase yes oh yeah because you have a combination of like good amount of meat but then as you get to that joint yes you have a little bit of that fat and connective tissue which is delicious you know what i mean that's why we eat ribs you know i thought about serving this like this and then putting some etouffee oh yeah mm -hmm. oh well, most about. of the time you see it was like a gravy of some sort yeah, yeah. they got some some mm. au jus or something like yeah, that mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. you know what i what i like yeah. the most about all this man is everything even if you you season it similarly they all have their own unique flavors yeah mm -hmm. And everything is complex. Yeah. You know, when I, I, you know, I make barbecue, I happen to think I make decent barbecue, and then I say something like this, and I'm like, yeah, I gotta go back to the drawing board. No. <laughs> it's just, it's no. just the complexity it's, of flavors, said, man. This, the natural flavor of this right. shank is, is really coming yeah. through, Joe. You did, you did a great job, like I said, of not overdoing it, and that's something people often have a struggle with, is sometimes just let your, your product shine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Less know, is more. Yeah, I always say. Yeah, and in an instance like this, when you got a cup like this with so much flavor, you got that bone and mm -hmm. you say all that cartilage and yeah. stuff. Man, let it do its thing. Yeah, and this, yeah, you killed it with so this it's excellent flavor. Yeah. You see, I, I can't leave it alone. You see, yeah, I know. Thing, man. It definitely Keep has an excellent it. flavor. Keep on with it. And then we have the um, the sausage and yeah. chicken gumbo. Somebody's oh. gonna be lucky enough to get the leg on that one. I had the last drummy, but uh got so your name on it, BK. I mean, he said say that. that twice. <laughs> Threaten so me with a good time. Dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. You got another spoon over here somewhere? Yeah, yeah we got tons over right here. Go. Thank you, sir. So I'm just gonna send this giant coffee mug around. I'm gonna dip in here and then send it around. I'm gonna get right into it. And make sure you get you some chicken in there. Look at that. Mm. Look at that. Oh my god. It did not put up a fight. Dude. 
<laughs> at all. Boom. I touched it and it said, okay, where are we going? Yeah. It's so great when you can like hmm. have something that can expand Bro. the barbecue experience, yeah. but still feels like it belongs, yes. you so know? The you sausage got and the uh, chicken in there part. is smoked too in the gumbo. So these are the same, right? Yeah, both of those. Oh, are the so same. I can just literally have this bad yeah, boy. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's all mine. You gotta pull a piece Dude. of this off, bro. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, here's, put some. Here's how. Put a little bit of uh, Louisiana hot sauce mm -hmm. on it. And then what I like to do is. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. I, I, I'll pull take out bro. one of these. That bird is so oh, savory yeah. and hearty. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. You have to use a fork. Take out one of these and eat it with the gumbo. Oh, hell yeah. This is like part of my secret order when I go to In-N-Out Burger. I get these yeah, things man, chopped up man. and put on the burger. Chopped that That's the way to do you that know one. about the trappies, man? man. <laughs> this is too much. I don't want to taint the bottle. Yeah. We're so all, I got we're like three jars of jalapenos that I've been pickling. Mm -hmm. and for whatever reason, I don't know what's going on. Everywhere I go. I'm getting these big giant jalapenos now. Oh, they're huge now. Uh, I noticed that too. I got some in there. Dude, I'm, gonna just get a little I'm like, dude, I just that's want that's the little, little ones. ones. That's the hustle. <laughs> yeah. That's the hustle right there. For all those the, yes, indeed. So I think it's really worth noting, and it's something that is very unique to you, right? You brought up you the fact this, that right? you have like high blood pressure, right? I mean, so you're, I you're easy on the soul. Yes, Joey got you. It's cars. a really wonderful thing. I know, bro. Because it's not. Like oh, under season, mm -hmm. but at the same time, like you know, barbecue hits you heavy. Oh, you yeah, got, got you with the hearty dance. dance. I saw that. Right? Me doing my and little dance. Yeah. And I'm that's what's dance, great about man. this is like I feel, yeah, it's just kind of liberating, you know. Yep, and like I said, you can always add salt. You just right. can't take, you can't it, take away. it away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if I over salt something, then kind of screw. And myself. it can be a crutch. Yeah, you know, true too. You know, but I just think too. There's so many ways, even with what you're putting on there now. <laughs> yeah, the Louisiana. Dude, but this is what fantastic. at the end of the day, what is this? It's oh yeah, it's salt and pepper. Peppers and vinegar. Yeah, it's yeah. salt and pepper. Pepper, mm -hmm. vinegar, and, you, and you got an acid component. Fermented. Mm -hmm. You know. You know, they sit in barrels for years. And Absolutely. Then... Dude, this is. I mean, the tri tip of the chicken is like an experience. You know, the pork shank and the gumbo experience. And then you have, like, just that barbecue action. Thank you. Thank you. So, so when are you going to add boudin to the, to the menu? Oh, well, now Believe it or not, um, that'll come whenever we start doing sauce. Yeah. Because it's all about space. Yeah. yeah. It's all mm. about space. Mm -mm -mm. I am. This is just. This is this is becoming my prop. This could be the thing that takes me down. I was feeling strong. I was walking tall for a minute. And now I'm like, I think I found my kryptonite slash Achilles heel. Yeah, I'm good. Well, I'm going to give you a tip here. Because we're getting into the sides. Yeah, you're right. That cucumber salad is going to freshen you up. Bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That cucumber salad. Joey sent me with some last time I was down here. So I came here and ate a bunch of barbecue. And I left here and went to a barbecue festival. <laughs> Remember that, Joey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, dude. And he was like, "Man, you sure you want to take?" I'm like, "Dude, I'm gonna eat this stuff." And don't, so don't hurt yourself. I know yeah. it's so damn good. <laughs> it is. I'm a big fan. I'm gonna be honest with you. I would say do this as your palate cleanser, yeah, yeah. or even after dessert, because it's yeah. so refreshing. Oh wow! Okay. Especially during Instead the summertime. Have the and cut it up. During the summertime, it was, it was pretty oh, good. Yeah. That and the, the pasta salad. You okay? Well, it's all good. I'm gonna no, no. just say it's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I really like, like that a, cucumber. Was that was I think it was Interstellar, where they had um, zucchini. The tomato zucchini. Yeah. That uh, I, I. It's a must order. Oh, absolutely. It's a must order. Absolutely. It was zucchini yeah. and tomatoes oh, okay. and onions, red onions. Yeah. With yeah. The vinaigrette. Yeah. I got you. He used to do that as an Annie Pass when he had yeah. uh, the Osti yeah. restaurant in yeah. in Austin. Um, I literally that richness perfectly. Yes, you know. Well, that's the thing. It's like mac and cheese is great, potato salad's great, but contrast is key. Yeah, yeah. you go for it, man. Ooh. Okay, you gonna have to. <laughs> Dude, I went so hard on that <laughs> gumbo. Woo! This right here, Gene would kill this by herself, dude. Oh, dude. She and eats cu uh, cucumbers like every day. I'm and what I do with the cucumber salad, that has my, believe it or not, it has the brisket seasoning in there. 
Really? Seriously. So that's the black pepper, garlic, mm. mustard. Oh, yeah. Is that feta cheese on here? Yes. Yeah. Feta cheese. Yep. Oh. The timing of this is absolutely Cuc critical. Cucumber, right now. onion, cherry tomatoes, uh, again, red onion, mm. oh, vinegar, wow. water, seasoning. Mm. Like the way the acid kicks Amazing. in a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's not up front, right. but once that you get into too? it, that's fed in there. Yep. So talk to me about your, your pickling brine, because I know you do this yourself. Is it just oh. water and vinegar for, your, for the cucumbers? Oh, are they, they, they are yeah. pickled, right? Yeah. This, no, it's not pickled. Really? No, I just made that fresh this morning. So is it the vinaigrette that you're putting on it? I put distilled vinegar uh -huh. and water. Yeah. Just 50-50? That's it. Not 50-50, uh, 75-25. Vinegar Maybe and water? Maybe vinegar, yeah. Okay. Because it's got that acidic kick. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. 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 And it's not right at the front either. Like I said, a couple bites in, yeah. that's when you really get the acid. So that's what I, because I've been playing around with this pickling, and I'm trying to get the, the mm -hmm. brine right. Mm -hmm. And I did this where I put, you know, because I, I, do you got well, me eating carbs today? I don't eat well, carbs. Well, if you're pickling, because like the, the, the <laughs> onions. Real, man, I haven't eaten carbs since the beginning of August. <laughs> really? The, yeah. The onions I pickled last night, the red ones, and uh, when I pickle, it's 50-50, water, water and vinegar. A little bit of salt or not? Yes. Salt. Yes. Is and that it? It has uh, um, black pepper seeds. Gotcha. Hmm. So I'm, I'm, right there, I'm right there in the same ballpark now. Because hmm. the onions I've done, I love them. But I'm struggling. I try to do the same brine with my jalapenos and with my cucumbers to make pickles. And I'm not happy with them yet. So I got to okay. keep playing with them. Is yeah. it not acidic enough? Or um, you might have to move your it vinegar. It might be that. It you might have be to move that. your vinegar. Because I don't have that bite yeah. that I'm looking yeah. for. Yeah, you need the vinegar. Okay. So I'll, I'll go, I'll go heavier vinegar then. Yep. So that's a potato salad. We call it Kelly's potato salad. It's a mustard potato salad um, that she got from my mom, I think. Um, she's 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 from Michigan. She okay. barely cooked when I met her. Now she can. I bet you she can make a brisket if she wanted to. Yeah, nice. Yeah. I was gonna say, don't be like a uh, what was her name, Keisha, with a uh, old boy on the on the pod that day. Oh, with Kyle. Oh, what was what was it? A uh, 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 what dog cooking? Mm -hmm. The name of so <laughs> we did. He did the pod with him, mm -hmm. and he was talking about when they first got married, in Louisiana. When they mm -hmm. first got married, he was like, "Man, he was like, I grew up eating, you know, this food, whatever." But boy, I got married, and man, the food just wasn't quite the same. But I was over there cringing, like, "Oh, I hope she ain't there." And he was like, "Oh yeah, my wife is right here off camera." I was like, "Yeah, she about to hit him." <laughs> uh -oh. Maybe don't blink twice, brother. If you need yeah. help, right? <laughs> do that good, bro. <laughs> You want him head now or something? <laughs> right. So good. And it's just potato salad. I mean, it's no, you know, but it's, it's good. It's creamy, yeah. and like I, I also love it when it has that kind of like egg salad y kind of Yeah, we put eggs in it. Bingo. And, and, uh, and everything. Yeah. It's right. It's good. It's you good. know what? It's like, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you mix the egg, and, and y'all do it almost like a Japanese egg salad. Yeah, sort of, kind of. Yeah. Sort of, kind of. And, and, so I'm thinking about putting a deli across the street, and uh, I'm going to make an egg salad. It's almost going to be almost exactly the yeah. same, but just a ton more eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we'll toast the bread and all that other good stuff. Be fine. That you was a Japanese egg salad. I'm not sure. What, Dude. You know, don't they use that Kewpie? They use Kewpie, and they blend, like, all the yolk and the Kewpie, they blend it until it is one. And okay. they just have huge chunks of the whites, gotcha. and they just fold it. And they usually serve it on like a, a toasted milk bread. Yeah, yeah gotcha. it's amazing. That's like exactly even right. at the uh, at oh, the uh, convenience stores in Tokyo, like the Seven oh, yeah. Eleven. Yeah, you get the egg salad, and you're like sandwich. You're like, oh my god! And it is night and day when you're at a Seven Eleven in Tokyo. Dude, and so I have here. friends oh, that have a um, oh, they have a travel I'm channel on YouTube. Take you. Let's go. Yeah. But they have a travel channel on YouTube called you Travel Spring. Tokyo, BK? Travel Spring? Travel Spring. Uh huh. They just went to Japan. He actually proposed to her in front of Mount Fuji in the whole nine. Damn. And she was talking about, oh, we got to go to these uh, convenience stores. And I'm like, why would you in Japan? Why the hell would you go to a convenience store to get? Well, and then when she went in there, I was like, okay. Oh, no. Well, their convenience stores are, that's yeah. a whole It's different. all of yeah, them. It's yeah. basically, I mean, like, they just are like, we don't do bad no. food. Nope. No. Like, no. Nah. 
And like it's weird logistically, it's almost like if you could take the value of a Trader Joe's, but with the level of quality of Whole Foods, but a convenience store, yeah. it suddenly makes sense. Yeah. You're like, oh, they just don't have room for bad stuff. Yeah. Cars and knives. That's just that that to me explains yeah. it. You're like, they don't they these people don't play. No. Alright, so next Ooh. dude, I know, I know, I know. It's all good. We're almost there. The charro beans, Mexican charro Super beans. Super down for this. So if you had a uh, at a uh, Mexican restaurant, I like mine juicy. And oh, yeah. We got oh, bacon in there. Also. Yes, I could literally see it. I was like, I see yeah. some How protein as well. No, no, no. Y'all just say go pass it over. Yeah, because huh? I'll mm. just start grubbing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll really let you down. <laughs> I thought about it. <laughs> I did. I really. So now he get his own. I was like, you know, I mean, you know, I just need a spoonful. Okay, no, I'm gonna need another, another round of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, that's got cumin in it. That's got uh, um, chili. It's got again our brisket seasoning in there. Mm. That has crumbled cheese and cilantro, tomatoes, jalapenos. You know what? It reminds yeah, me of uh, exactly. Reminds yeah. me of. Uh, Frijoles borrachos. Yeah. So all I didn't do was pretty much add beer. beer. So that's what that is. All right. The next one, mock shoe from Louisiana. You know what? What's that again? Mock shoe. What is? What is it? It's Creole corn. It's basically uh, regular whole corn, then cream corn, and then uh, like some some sort of pasta sauce. Uh, people, if you want to do it real quick, just put in a. Um, I mean, uh, the dip. What is the dip? Marinara? No, the hot, the salsa. Let's put in some salsa. Oh, oh yeah. Um, ragu. Oh, that's nice, not ragu. Dude. It's, I forgot. Paste. Paste. But that's the easy, fast way to make it. Um, I like and the way the sweetness the in the oh, wow. wow. That is. The sweetness and the heat is just working really yeah, well. Yeah, the sweetness mm -hmm. from the corn. corn yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's hitting really. I right. like that. So you get a lot of that in Louisiana with a big bed of rice and I can yeah, see that. It, it that is like good. That. that is really. I'm gonna good. back up on something for a, uh, yeah, for a second. Very Potato good. salad. Mm -hmm. So I like Cajun food, Creole food. Um, one of the things I had seen they were doing, I think it was it was a gumbo, but they made the potato salad that goes with it. Yeah. Yeah, they'll put the potato Scoop. salad in the gumbo. Yeah, so, if, and if I'm not mistaken, they take the, I think they take a portion of the potatoes and they mash them. And then you have some that are like textured, you know, pieces, and then you have the mashed. That's, like, that's what we do. We have some okay. different ones, different oh, so ones in there. They replace the rice with potato salad, is it basically what yeah. they're doing? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't like it. It's, I'm not a fan of it, but because I like my rice. And mm -hmm. a gumbo right. yeah. and a side of potato salad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the way I see it. That way you can take yeah. it and still dip it in your gumbo if you got want you. to. Got because you. if you don't do it right, the potato salad will fall apart in your gumbo yeah. and then you just. Yeah. Yeah. I think what it reminded me of, um, <laughs> believe it or not, the potato salad that you get from Cisco was actually pretty decent. Mm -hmm. for, okay. You know, for a commercial. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what it reminded me of when I saw how they did it on YouTube. So I made some. And I liked it because it was it was different from the potato salad I ever made. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. I'm used to making it kind of like these, like this one. Mm -hmm. but this one was it was more mashed. It was yeah, 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 yeah. It's all compacted. It just, yeah, it was just really yeah. good. And I, I thought that was pretty interesting. I feel so like I potato was, salad could be literally, it can be like mac and cheese. You could like go full on yeah, bougie yeah, it up stuff, and yeah. use fancy stuff and be like, well, this is technically pasta. You know what I mean? With like a cream sauce with cheese in it, or you could just go. You know, whatever. I think what happens when you make stuff is there's certain things that you can try and make it at home, but it's not going to match up to like that Cisco yeah, potato yeah. salad yeah. that has its own. I mean, the texture becomes yeah. part of the conversation. Right. You know, how does right. one pull off that texture if you're looking for that? I found it and she doesn't like it when I do it uh, for my potato salad. I cut the potatoes when I start dicing them. There's different sizes because some will break down and turn into mash. Yeah, yeah. And then some of them will stay whole and, and, and mm -hmm. you know, that different texture. I do the same when I, uh, I'll make like a cream of potato soup. Mm -hmm. And I got hunks and small pieces. Yeah. Give Those small texture. pieces. Yeah, because you want the big chunks for the texture. Yeah. Um, but then those small pieces are gonna just dissolve. Yeah, and it's just yeah. thickening up. The starch yeah. will thicken up. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. She'll be like, you didn't cut it once. 
Yeah. Be all right. <laughs> you I know, don't tell her what I'm thinking. But I, I, you know, it's it's funny in uh, Anthony Bourdain's book Kitchen Confidential, he basically like kind of addresses home cooks. You know, and he, um, you know, after and this came out in like 2000, 2001, when he was, you know, basically kind of not so much giving away chef secrets, but you know, trying to understand what the level is when you work in a restaurant. He also said, look. I love home cooked mashed potatoes. I love a little lump to it too. Like there is something charming and real and yeah. completely fine about it. Thank you. Because sometimes if you just always are going for some sort of like pure, ideal, almost cold, mechanical way of going, no, this is it and everything else is unacceptable, it almost is like you're you're chasing something that's like I don't know. And all of a sudden it's like, oh, these are like box mashed potatoes. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like we're yeah. just making something fake. When you have that difference in texture, like your soup, mm -hmm. you're like, well, you know, this was made at home. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, it's a can of folk art. Mm. You have this refined stuff where somebody studied for 20 years mm -hmm. to do all this. But then you got just someone who was creative and they used what they had. Yeah. And they made a piece of us. Yeah. And they made you're right. Someone who's like, I didn't go to school. And yeah. I just, and I, you know, I I I I rode my own path. You that's know? it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next, uh, try the smoked Gouda mac and cheese. Not it's not smoked, but it's Gouda mac and cheese with the taki it, on it. With the, with the, yeah, I like that taki touch too. Kids love it. Daniel came in here. He's like, "What is this, Joey?" I was like, "Taki." He goes, "That's really? what it is." Yeah. He's like, "Man, everybody wants to put." Uh, to put uh, on. no, they want to put um, hot fries on it. Oh, oh. Yeah. it's so nice to have something different now. Come on, Car yeah. Main. And I think he even wrote it in the article too. I mean, that's a guy who was quote seen it all. <laughs> He's all right, still uh, going. Brandon, are you about to get beat chrome, brother? We shall see. <laughs> Did you you tell him that story? I didn't. I'm going. You so tell it better right than now. I do. Ooh, but I want to get that something there too. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. I love the al dente. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Most yeah. places just make it mash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mm -hmm. love it. No, no, no. Yeah. We yeah, got yeah. It, it's in there for nine minutes and then it's Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Now my my wife ain't Damn, famous. that's good. I <laughs> never got good. into it. Okay. That's a great touch. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know, you know. That's a great touch actually. So you know so we here, had a we ooh. had a bag here for the longest, right? Because I really don't eat taki. Um, and uh, I was like, I wonder what would happen. So I crushed it, and I put it on there, and I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. And then I told Kelly, I was like, Kelly, <clears throat> try this. And she loves mac and cheese. And then when I did that, she was like, what did yeah. you put on here? Yeah. 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 So so here's here's this mac and cheese story. Um, <laughs> was it Super Bowl? I think Super it was Super Bowl. Bowl, yeah. So we hosted Super Bowl at the house, man. <laughs> Barbecue, whatever. Well, I did. Uh, you ain't gonna have me keep eating cars, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm trying. But, um, but no, so I, I made jerk chicken, right? And uh, man, I put this in here in this marinade for like three days. You know, and, I mean, jerk the hell out of it. Yeah. So we got it, dude. We had it, yeah. So we got it. Uh, I know that sound off, but but anyway, uh, so grilled it up, got all this this chicken, man, phenomenal. Uh, made the festivals. I mean, everybody's at the house going in on this chicken right mm. brandon on cp time shows up shows up i think second quarter <laughs> brandon didn't care in. about that game huh <laughs> dude brandon walks in with this tray of macaroni and cheese okay right? and so you got like half the people inside half people out on on the, the back patio gene bites into this mac and cheese comes and grabs me whoa says you need to taste this i said all right i get no you need to taste this right now. I said, okay. So I took a little bite. Looked at Brandon, I'm like, where the hell you get this wrong? He's like, oh, I made this. I'm like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I said, as soon as everybody tastes this, they're going to be like, what chicken? <laughs> Gene, wow. Dude, Gene went around and was like giving people little, little, little bits of the mac and cheese. Everybody was like, hold up, who made this mac and cheese? Oh, that was Brandon. I'm like, how the fuck you go come to my house, dog? Shut out. Yeah. 
Three days, 72 you're hours. Man. BK, man. Look, you're I just there. made it the way I always make it, man. <laughs> I wasn't trying to outshine you. Hey, I gave him his flowers, though, bro. I told him, dude, that mac and cheese was slant. Wow. Oh, man, that's good. Will you ring that if anyone comes in? Oh, okay. Thanks. All right, so we got the last side is uh, the pasta salad okay. with uh, feta on it also. You like that? You know, there's a cheese theme here. Gouda and hey, feta. Man. So how was this dressed up? Um, so that is, it has Italian dressing on it and, um, and some of our season, Kelly makes that. It's some of our seasonings we got in the back and she add cucumber to it and, oh, and like some that. other stuff. That's refreshing. She had some other stuff. So yeah, that's, that's refreshing, like, man. Mm. I like that's, the tanginess. Yeah. Yeah. I love that tanginess in there. This was my midnight snack after, uh. Grill and chill. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Most of the time I have pasta salad like this. They'll actually cut in um, mm. like pepperoni or something. No, I like you. About it. It. I think it has vinegar. You really have yeah. a great yeah. pan with the vinegar. Ah, that's good. Also, I just had mac and. I yeah. need something to cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that man. That's a meal on its own right there. Oh, at night. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm going in the refrigerator, seeing how much is <laughs> left. <laughs> That's very good. No, that is and, that's, that's, what I, that's what I kill. All the right. Contrast so she and made, textures too. She so. made this and the potato salad, right? Kelly makes all four of these. Great. She's mm. killing it, dude. Yeah, man. I taught her. Well. She, great she, Kelly. Yeah, great job. She does a great <laughs> job. And this you made great awesome sides. Side. This is what everybody loves her for. Uh oh. Banana pudding. Banana pudding. Your side dishes you made are damn good. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. My meat spoons may not cut it at this point. What's up, Jeff? Hey, Ben Harry. So, you know, good, uh, good. speaking of Proving banana pudding. That's it, man. <laughs> Brett's. He's not He's not operating in Rockdale like he was, but Brett's Backyard. Uh, the first time I actually had it was when they had the Houston-Austin throwdown. Mm -hmm. And uh, whoever was, the, I don't know if it's the same girl that he was dating or whatever, but she was making the, the desserts and she made a banana pudding that had nutter butters on it. Oh. Dude, changed the game. I usually put, um, I usually put um, a crunch and munch on top. Ooh, <laughs> you cheating, bro. You dirty dog. dog. <laughs> you dirty dog. You cheating now. <laughs> Hey, man, that was the first picture um, that I ever took that went viral, man. When I, I put really? Crunch and Munch. Yeah, really? I used to serve it in, well, this was before we got our place, but we used to serve it in a 12-ounce cup that was clear. So you see the different bananas, the layers, and all that other stuff. And it made it look good. And then I put Crunch and Munch on top, and I put one of those clear domes on there, too. And people lost their mind. Oh, yeah. You put Crunch and Munch? On banana pudding? I was like, yeah, they're like, whoa. I bet it was damn good yeah. too. Yeah. I know for me, just having the uh, the nutter butter on, and it was the little minis, because uh -huh. it was the little dishes. Or whatever. But anyway, just just yeah, having that something that was different. I was like, yeah, I got to try that. So I got the full size mm. and put them on a, on a tray of it. And uh, invited friends, like, man, they inhaled that stuff. I love that. Damn, man. that is... Yeah. Is that caramel in there as well? Yep. Yeah. That's a really that caramel like, Nilla wafers, yeah. bananas. Um, we add. Here's the secret. We add a lot of whipped cream to the mixture. Oh yeah. Mm. I do that with Cool Whip. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it, it fluffs it up and gives it a little bit more it, body. To yeah. It. Yeah. Mm -mm. yeah. Yeah. That's good stuff. That tastes like my mama banana. Yeah. yeah that's, that's what yeah. everybody uh, says. Yeah. For real. Everybody says. I was sitting there looking like, yeah, I'm taking one of them home. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't need it, and I ain't supposed to have it, but. I'm, I'm seeing yeah, coming just out of here. Uh -huh. I'm like, uh oh, oh, oh <laughs> we can check that down. <laughs> oh, yeah. We good, we good right now. No, trust me, one of them coming home, bro. All All might right. be two. I'm going to have to get something to take, take back to Gene, too. All right. Mm -mm -mm. You know, it's funny you said that, because I think it's worth noting um, Central Texas Barbecue kind of has its own kind of signature, especially as it's become kind of more craft or whatever, right. especially with a lot of like professional chefs, fine dining chefs getting into something that was a backyard home cook culture. But it's nice when you also remember that barbecue is so tied with African-American food culture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. And there are elements where it's like, 
hell yeah. The, the, the smoked pork shank's a little bougie, and it's yeah. delicious. But then, you, you know, bring it, it up in. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. Because <laughs> it's 2024. Because it's 2024, and we have yeah, a demand. Yeah. But then when you just kind of go, you know what? Not everything has to be so, like, you know, new school. Yeah. You know, like, even though you have the Takis in there, that, that is a mac and cheese. You know yeah. what I mean? That banana pudding just kind of hits right. And the and chicken was, you know, uh, and uh, backyard yeah. chicken. Yes. I, I love that chicken. You know? Old school and, pit uh, barbecue, man. I'm telling you. That yeah. Was, yeah. That's it. Yeah. And, and it does make you we good. Cook the, the tri-tip, too, and then we stick it in the, in the smoker for a little bit to get that smoky taste. Yeah. yeah. Not, But I wait till my coals die down because I don't want too much smoke on a lot of things. Yeah, that was very. I like to think of myself as someone who could make a pretty good tri tip. I've never made a tri tip that tender. No, no. Come on, man. No. I've only I've only hit that a couple. It depends on the meat I buy, though. That's true. Yeah, that's a yeah. Big that's part of it. that's yeah. A very yeah, very that true point. Is, is, is crucial, huge. man. Because oh, yeah. it is a steak. Yeah, that and you fine. will get dividends on a. Yeah. I was in California what a month ago. And I was at a Wagyu ranch. That's they, they asked me to oh, go there. Oh, that's right. You were out there recording and stuff, yeah. and all that. So I that's did that. That's why you're Summit. Yes. And yeah. I cooked one of their Wagyu tri tips, and I was like, "Dude, right? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. It's you know, true. I ate it. You, you felt know, dirty. Like, you felt like, dirty afterwards. <laughs> it's not a throwaway cut then. No. When you have no. it, the first time I ever had Snake River Farms, I remember oh, yeah. I they. I was like, well, I'm not getting the New York strip. I'll, I'll get the tri-tip, right? And that was like some night and day. Now, this is back in the day when tri-tip, it was like 2002. Tri-tip yeah, yeah. would be like six, seven bucks a pound. This thing was like 20. Yeah. But dude, I mean, it just- You gotta you start just... off with good meat. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. You gotta start off with good meat. If yeah. you don't, man, it's gonna end up drying out or- yeah. But it's a tougher cut to find Easily, yeah, it's hard to find here in Texas. You know, um, um, the quality. You least. might the, find the it at H E B, but it, it's going to be Not like select or something. Not I, they got tri tips this big at H E B, untrimmed right? too. Yeah. yeah, it's not. Yeah. What's going on here? Yeah. So, um, and uh, but you know what else is great? Hanger steak. Oh, yes. yeah. That's my favorite. That's my yeah. favorite. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's my favorite by far. First time I had hanger steak, man, it was many years ago. I was at uh, Michael Simon's joint in Cleveland at the little one, uh, Lolita. Mm -hmm. okay. And I had his hanger steak there. And I was a huge fan ever since. Man, they just, they did it so well. Yeah. And again, simple, cooked it just right, man. Mm -hmm. Seasoned perfect, nothing, mm -hmm. you know, crazy, nothing no, man, fancy about it. They just kept it simple and... It's usually always it was, it was so damn good. You know, the butcher's you keep it so Yeah, it's a butcher's cut, right? Per, per cow. Yeah. So and that's the uh, oyster blade, though, isn't it? You know what it's called? Oh. Um, it's got that membrane that goes through the it middle. It does, yeah. The, yeah. The, the, yeah. The membrane that goes. And what I do is, I'll before I start cooking, I'll take that membrane out. So I got two. Right. Two yeah. Ones, and oh. I'll demolish both of them. You know Leroy and Lewis is actually taking those now, and they're uh, smoking them like brisket. Yeah, I saw the video. Oh, the, uh, the hanger the, steaks. Are they doing hangers or flat irons? That's right. You know, you're right. I, I smoke yeah. flat irons. I smoke doing hangers, them. but I prefer to grill them. Yeah. 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 But see, I was thinking it was it was uh, the hanger because he was talking about how when they smoke it, you know, when you smoke for so long, it breaks down the connector. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it breaks down that uh, that membrane. Yeah. And that membrane you can actually cut through. There was steak smoke attention. Well, it's funny. Now he's doing steak nights. Yeah. It's an expensive steak night. But well, I mean, when is it steak expensive? Yeah. But it's like that, yeah. you know, that hoity toity. Right. Yeah. The proper, I mean, getting the good stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Meanwhile, I'm getting that joint tip from Andrew B. <laughs> <laughs> still be, I'll still be getting that joint tip from Andrew B. I know. No, I'm like, Joey. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> just, just throw it hard. It'll, it'll yeah, land in man. Austin from here. Have you ever had one from uh, Midland Meat? Have you tried Midland Meat yet? No. Midland Meat's got some really good cuts, dude. Yeah. 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 Meat. I, they sent it me some meat a while ago. Midland Meat Company. They like an online butcher type deal? Uh, well, he's got a whole storefront in uh, Odessa. 
You've probably seen them on, on I IG. Think I, yeah, I'm it's, pretty sure I follow them or something because it sounds familiar. Yeah, I kept trying like smaller places and, and I try to get stuff, but then when I liked it and got used to it, they just couldn't keep up. Yeah, right. that's always that's, a problem. That's that's hard. Oh, so yeah. Like if I'm like, Here's hey, I need three more tri tip. Well, there you go. What's up, Ken? Wow, look at that. <laughs> and uh, they would, uh, do, oh, we can't get it to you this week, Joey. I'm like, man. Yeah. So I had to go with something that's more um, consistent. Uh, no, yeah. Only if we must go and do that. Uh, yeah. Trip, yeah. Consistency is so part of the pack. Everything. Oh, absolutely. So when you come back, you know, you want. I want to make sure that it's oh, the same man. that you had last time you were here. Yeah. That yeah. way, you know, because you don't come back and well, some people come back they want different things, but a lot of people once they set on something. Yeah. You know, I got a lot of customers that when they walk through the door, I already know what they want. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But that becomes the fabric of your place, don't you? Yeah. You know? It does. Yeah. It does. So yeah. You yeah. There's have those repeat customers, man. Yeah. yeah. They keep you going. Yeah. And I love doing this. I was telling Kelly the other day, I was like, man, if this don't work out, I don't know what else I'm going to do. I just love doing this too much. We're going to make it work. Yeah. One way or another, we're going to get people out here to Mark, Texas. Yeah. You know, it's Dude, not never really out of, of the team. way. Yeah. It's I not. still thought we were in Waco. And, you know, <laughs> the last time I was here, we, we spoke about that, about making this a destination, man. Yeah. And the this trip, the downtown, I'm assuming they call this the downtown. Yeah. It's just so damn cool. As we yeah. were coming yes. in. They were like, man, check this out. It was like this. Yeah. Like the, the, yeah. the little town Seriously. that time forgot. Seriously. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, dude, it's just such a cool aesthetic. And then I really think you're doing a great thing by branching out and doing the other things here in town. We call that buying up the block where I'm from. That's it. And so, uh, yeah, dude, I, I Shout think out that's. To Mike Epps. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. But I think you're on the right path with that, man. Appreciate I really do. You, man. I really do. I, yeah. I see it being a huge success. Trying to, man. Uh, I love doing this. Been doing this for thir over 30 years now. Um, so I was music and cooking, man. Yeah. That's my thing. You're and doing it, man. Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> Sound like me. <laughs> yeah. So you know that, that week uh, you were out in California and we went up to uh, – heard it for good summer mm -hmm. but we came back we were gonna come here until we found out you were gonna be out of town yeah so we went to uh terry blacks mm -hmm. you know and terry blacks is good so uh, the story is because i went before yeah. not to that one but i went to one in austin didn't like it was way too He's salty like, stop the tape <laughs> <laughs> but it was way too salty i even told them that when we were there mm -hmm. yeah way yeah. too salty whatever didn't like it but this one we went to it was it was damn good, solid yeah right? dude this is right there with us yeah you know, everybody that's going to terry blacks yeah they got to come out here. Yeah. Man. Yeah, man. I mean, they got to come can, out here. If you can go a couple minutes up the street to Waco, there's no reason not to come here. No. Man. Yeah. Well, I just feel like there's here. there's things here that are, I, mean, I feel like we've all like, you know, lately I've been getting around and I've been finding a lot of interesting twists and turns and, oh, you got to try this. It's something we're playing with and doing it. Yeah. This yeah. is one of those, you know, like. Yeah. This place. is not. This don't have that commercial feel. Not no, no. Like this Black is, has that commercial feel to it. Yeah, yeah. This is down home. Come get your barbecue. Yeah. Chill out. You got an environment here to hang out in. It yeah. Doesn't, it doesn't feel like that turning them, turn them and burn them type situation. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. You know, look, got the couches over there. I mean, yeah. come on, man. No, this is this is I something. Love it. I it's love a got whole got the other category. Maker in here. Yeah, like you want that man. road trip experience. I think, like honestly, I remember when I. Went to Burton Bean and I was like, first you're like, man, how far away is this place? And then yeah. you get there and you're like, oh, this is like, the, the drive was the yeah. was 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 the appetizer, yeah. you know. Yeah. And I think this is just like that. Plus, like little thing, freaking gumbo. Come on yeah. now. Yeah. Period. Done. Gumbo. Yeah. What do you it's, What do you mean? Gonna be on the menu. Well, it used to be on the menu when it was cold. Right. You know, hot weather, you just it's don't make gumbo. Thing. No, no, it certainly won't sell. Yeah. yeah. However, you know what's nice about this? Air conditioning. Yes. <laughs> I've spent a lot of time sweating at barbecue. Hey, we even have extra air conditioning. Look. Dude. What? Pops yeah. right there with a the condenser. There's the air mover <laughs> right there. Yeah. Oh, right, that's for our soon other come, building. Soon come, soon come, yeah. Yeah, that's for our other building. We couldn't put it in there because somebody will steal it. Yeah, because it's not it completely lock up, yeah. locked up, right? So. 
Yeah. I had to. It's in here. For <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I think that's all part of the charm, man. Yeah. Th this is a living space. It, it's yeah. not just some, like you said, some commercial branded thing. Like this well, is y'all. My goal was to have my friends and family when they come to eat and everything else to be very comfortable hanging out, eating, and all that other good stuff. So that's that was the goal. Yeah, my wife won't She's be. jumped in a couple times. I've been doing this for four years. My wife has yet to be yeah, anywhere yeah. near one of my videos. I, like, I didn't know you were married. Like, yeah, 11 years. Dude, your wife was like beating feet the other day when he was at KG and like with the turn on the camera. Oh yeah, man. I was like, I ain't gonna get you a problem. <laughs> it is not. Some people thing. just hate cameras, man. They yeah. just don't want to and be on the there. thing is she's on camera all day every day. She works from home, hundred percent remote. So yeah. but she's yelling and you know, doing that to the camera all day. So I think yeah. just being nice and happy on camera, I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> I hope you hear that, baby. I'll, I'll make sure you cut this out. <laughs> How much do you love your Oh, I love my wife. To, to the moon and back. Yes. To the moon and back. <laughs> he said it. He kept saying that. I'm helping you out. I appreciate I that, you. brother. Look, y'all, we had an amazing time. We had an amazing build and uh, fantastic conversation, man. Joe, we want to thank you, man, for all your hospitality. Yes, sir. Thank you guys thank for you. coming. Of course, man. We're you glad know, to get back over here. I'm man. always enjoying conversations with you guys, and finally got to meet Ali right here. Yeah, yeah. Ali. How do you, how do you want to how do you pronounce it? I like say Ali, but you know it's really interesting. Is um, it's a word that's pronounced throughout a large part of the world. And in that part of the world, they can disagree about things. So mm -hmm. I've heard it say Ali. I've heard it say Ali. So I say Ali, but Ali. every which yeah, way from, you go. from a cat who's from there so you know he ain't gonna be wrong he ain't gonna right, be wrong all right. as long as you call me yeah. exactly <laughs> i even go by that guy over there <laughs> joey uh where can folks find you man you can find me on instagram at joey victorian or at victorian's barbecue you can find me on youtube believe it or not it's at pitmaster nice so i have that uh on youtube um also Facebook, Joey Victorian, Pitmaster, um, Facebook, Victorian's Barbecue. Um, and more importantly, where can they find Victorian's Barbecue? Yes. Okay, you can find Victorian's Barbecue 15 minutes east of Baylor in Waco, Texas. Technically, the small town is called Mark, Texas, but I can get to Baylor football field in 15 minutes. Nice. So we're not far at all. Um, you know, people think that we're some distant, but we're not. We're we're, we're Waco. Pretty it's much. worth the drive. Believe absolutely, me. believe absolutely. me. Absolutely, it is. Thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you. Now, I mean, again, if you're stomaching to go see a Baylor game these days, oh, we get a lot of Baylor people in here. Come over here for the yeah, game. man. That come makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that'd be the tailgate anyway. That's don't exactly what they're coming to get meat for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. start tailgating. Yeah, <laughs> if I was having to drive up to Dallas, I would definitely make the stop here. I appreciate it'd be, it. It'd be worth deviating off of 35 for the quality. Oh, yes, for sure. I yeah. appreciate it, man. And don't forget the tri-tip. Yeah, tri-tip yeah, Saturdays. Saturdays. Yeah. Don't forget the tri-tip. Tri-tip Saturdays. Yeah. Um, unless you call me and um, and I'll see if I have one available to cook on whatever day you want to come. But you, but you got to get the whole thing. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. But, uh, it's worth it. Makes sense. Uh, if, you, if you come for tri-tip on Saturdays, make sure it's early because... There are workers and farmers out here that will buy every single piece of tri-tip that I have mm. sometime. Wow. I don't blame them because it is pretty damn, damn good. good. Yeah. Damn good. <laughs> Everything was, was Everything was amazing. Yeah. Everything. And look, don't take our word for it. Y'all get over here tomorrow and try all this great food for yeah. yourself, yep. man. So, again, we want to thank y'all for watching. We're going to continue to chop it up. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Thanks. Bye.